Adding and subtracting integers. Let's start by stating the integers represented by the graphical representations displayed below. So in part A, we have one, two, three positive markers. So that is positive three or just three. For part B, we have two negative markers. So that's negative two. In part C, we can cancel out one positive with one negative. So we're just left with positive one. And in part D, we can cancel out one set and two sets, so we're left with zero. We can use the concept of using integer markers or the visual representations of integers to help us come up with um, the solution to adding or subtracting negative integers. So we're going to start by first drawing the graphical representation of these integers. So what we're trying to do. So plus 3, so that's 3 positive markers, plus 2, so that's 2 positive markers. So 3 plus 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 5, or positive 5. This probably isn't new to you. Uh, this is just expressed in a different method. Part B, we're starting with three positives and two negatives. I can cancel out two sets of positive and negative integers. So I'm just left with positive one or one. Again, three subtract two isn't new. We're just expressing this in a different format. What happens when we have negative 4 plus positive 1? So we're going to start with our negative 4s, so 4 of those, and we have our positive 1, and I can cancel out one set of positive and negative integers. So I'm left with 1, 2, 3 negatives, so my answer is negative 3. Part B, or D, sorry, negative two, so I'm drawing two negative markers, plus positive three, so three positive markers. I know that I can cancel out my sets of positive and negative integers, so I'm just left with positive one or one. And this last example, I'm going to draw negative 4, and I'm adding negative 1, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 negative markers, so my answer is negative 5. So using the integer graphical representations is a good method, especially when we're first starting out, to really truly see what is happening when we are adding or subtracting positive or negative integers. But this isn't always practical moving forward because it does take a little bit of time to draw in those negative and positive integer symbols. So we're going to also take a look at how we can do that by eliminating extra signs. So the extra signs, if we go back up here, the extra signs can be confusing. We have negative 2 plus plus 3 and negative 4 plus negative 1. They can be really confusing uh, when reading the question, especially when there are multiple operations in uh, the question and not just two numbers being added or subtracted together. So our first step is to eliminate those extra signs. And the rules for simplifying are the same as the rules for multiplying and dividing. If we, they have the same sign, they're replaced with a positive, and if they have different signs, they're replaced with a negative. But we are looking at the signs that are directly beside each other. So that's the key here in these questions. So if we wanted to rewrite 2 minus minus 6 minus plus 7 plus negative 3, the question to eliminate to with the extra signs, we're going to look at the signs that are directly beside each other. So we're going to start with the two negatives beside each other. So this becomes 2, and these two negatives change into a positive, so plus 6. Then I look at these two these signs beside each other. 
I have a negative and a positive. They're different signs. They're replaced with a negative. And then I look at these two sets. So a plus and a negative changes to a negative. So this becomes a lot easier to work out. So 2 plus 6 minus 7 subtract 3. So the operation in front of each number can be thought as a sign of the number. So this is a positive 2, a positive 6, a negative 7, a negative 3. So if I was to answer this question, I would do 2 plus 6 because I'm going in order of operations. So I go from left to right when I'm just dealing with adding and subtracting. 2 plus 6 is 8. So 8 take away 7, take away 3. 8 take away 7 is 1. And 1 take away 3, so that's like a positive number and a negative number. Um, is going to give us negative 2. You are welcome to use a calculator if that's easier for you um, or you could use the um, graphical representation or you could use a number line to help you um, find out your answers as well. There are lots of different ways that you can solve adding and subtracting negative integers, um, so hopefully you'll find a method that works the best for you. So let's take a look at what happens when we have um, positive and negative, so when we are adding and subtracting them both. So in the first side of this question uh, sheet, we just looked at adding, but what happens when we are subtracting? Hmm. Well, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to eliminate any extra signs. I don't need to write my plus sign in front of a integer. So this just becomes a 3. And then I look at the two signs that are directly beside each other. These two plus signs make a plus sign. So two, when the signs are the same, we can replace the 2 with just a single addition. So this becomes 3 plus 1. If I wanted to represent this graphically, or visually, this would be three positive integers plus one positive integer, and the answer would be one, two, three, four. So let's take a look at part B. So I want to eliminate any extra signs. So I don't have to write the positive sign out front of my first number, so that's just five. Then I look at the signs that are directly beside each other. I have a positive and negative, those are different, so I replace that with a subtracting sign, and I am subtracting 2. Or I can think about this as this is a positive 5, so I'm drawing 5 positive, positive symbols, and this is a negative 2, so I'm drawing 2 negative symbols. I can go ahead and um, cross out a set of positive and negatives. So I'm left with one, two, three positive integers. So the answer is three. You may be able to do these uh, without drawing that graphical representation. So once we eliminate those extra signs, sometimes it's easier for us to see what we actually have to solve. Let's do example C. So I'm starting with my negative four and I'm looking at the signs that are directly beside each other. I have a negative and a positive, which turns into a negative, so it's negative 1. So this becomes negative 4 and negative 1, or negative 4 subtract 1, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 negative integers, or negative 5. So this is where sometimes it can be confusing because when we're subtracting a number, we think that it should be lower, and it is. Negative 5 is lower than negative 4, even though when we think about positive integers, 5 is greater than 4. Um, and if you're looking at a number line, you can see why that is the case. Um, so if we have our number line here, and we have our negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so on. We're starting at negative 4. This is our starting number. 
and we're subtracting one, so we're going towards the left. That's which direction we go when we subtract, so I'm ending back up at negative five. So um, if you need to use a number line to help you, you can do that as well. Let's take a look at example D. So I have negative two, so I keep my sign out front when it's a negative. Now I look at the signs that are directly beside each other. Two negatives make a positive, so that's a positive three. So when I'm drawing my graphical representation, I have two negative integers and three positive integers. I can eliminate my sets of positive and negative integers, so I'm just left with positive one or one. And the last example that we're going to look at in this chart, example E, I'm starting with my negative three, so I keep my negative sign out front, and then I look at the signs directly beside each other, a plus and a minus, they're one of each, so that's a minus, so it's a one. So I have negative three and negative one, and that gives me negative four. So I hope now you see some different ways that you can express your positive and negative integers and you'll come up with a method that will work best for you in order to come up with those correct solutions. So let's try some without creating the graphical models because although they are great, as I said, they're not always practical moving forward. So we're going to start this by eliminating those duplicate signs and then evaluating. So I start with my negative seven, then I look at my duplicate signs. My plus and a negative make a negative two, and my negative and a negative make a positive three. And at this point, you can either use some mental math strategies, you can use a number line, or you could use your calculator. So I'm going in order from left to right. Negative seven, take away two is negative nine, and negative nine plus three is positive six. Let's take a look at part B. The first thing I wanna do is eliminate my extra signs. So I have negative five, a negative and a positive make a negative six, a positive and a negative make a negative three. Again, you can use a number line or a calculator or your mental math skills. Negative five, take away six is negative 11. And negative 11, take away three is negative 14. The last two examples, first step is to eliminate those extra signs. I'm starting with four. Negative and a positive make a negative eight. A positive and a negative make a negative three, and a negative and a negative make a positive four. So I'm going in order from left to right following bed mass. Four take away eight is negative four. I still have my negative three and my plus four. Negative four take away three is negative seven. Still have my plus four and negative seven plus four is negative three. And lastly, example D, I'm starting my first step by eliminating my extra signs. I start with four, a negative and a positive make a negative three, a negative and a positive make a negative six, and a negative and a negative make a neg positive eight. So going in order from left to right, four take away three is one. I still have my minus six and my plus eight. One take away six, and again, you can use a multiple of strategies. You can use a number line, you can use a calculator, you can use your mental math. One take away six is negative five plus eight, and negative five plus eight is positive three. 
If you have any questions about this lesson, please reach out, send me an email, or sign up for a virtual help session, and I will see you in the next lesson.